the correct answer was Donald Trump. Oh, oh. Wrestling Hall of Fame? Yeah, he's in the Wrestling but Hall of Fame. But he's in like the celebrity wing of the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Uh, there's no difference. You know, when he becomes president, it won't be the celebrity presidents. Although it should be, because it'd just be him and Reagan. Okay, do you think that he'll come out to the Apprentice theme, or is he going to come out to Hail to the Chief? What, when he when he inaug- when he gets inaugurated? Yeah, like any time that he comes out. I think that when he comes out, whatever he has planned to play will be drowned out by the trumpeting of angels. And the heavens will open up, and we all of our senses will combine into like a seventh chakra that all of humanity will it will be revealed to all of us, and we'll be able to see and hear and experience uh, senses in all new ways that we've never heard before. And he will come out to this this sound that will sound like a rapture, and he will point at Obama. Uh, Obama will for no reason be there because this yeah. has never happened before, yeah. and he will go. You're fired. And at that point, <laughs> at that point, a new universe will begin. It will be the, like that. His point will be like the birth of like Michelangelo's uh, uh, Sistine Chapel roof with God pointing at Adam. And that will be Donald Trump's point, And a new reality will spawn from that point. That's what I think the sound will be. And like, after, he, okay, so when Trump points at Obama, is Obama just going to be like, okay, and then he'll leave, or is he going to violently explode? He will, a demon will explode out of him. Oh, got it. A, 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 a giant demon will explode out of him like a, like a cartoon and will start clawing at people's health insurance. <laughs> oh. All over, all over whatever it is, the reflecting pool, where the Capitol Hill building. Yeah, like, He'll just yeah. start clawing at their cards and eating them. And then how will, how will, how will he get defeated? Trump will pull out a big sword, a big <laughs> flaming sword, and a Pegasus, a Pegasus will ride in that has the face of Ann Coulter. And he will ride through, <laughs> he will ride through the crowd and chop off Obama's many tentacled arms. That are grabbing at your health insurance. Okay, so and then a, a squad of Mexican banditos will run in, like shooting pistols in the air. And Trump will raise his sword for people like me to then come out and engage on this ideological battle. Okay, so when Trump swings his sword, yes. do you picture, is it going to be like a video game where it's like there's going to be like a contrail of an American flag or like trailing behind the sword every time he swings it? Yes, but it will be golden. Oh, okay. It won't be red, white, and blue, but it, it will be, be gold. golden be because it's, stars and it's not stupid. Yeah, it's yeah. not like trying to keep a color scheme. It will be all gold as he flings it through the air. And that's and that's when you know Milo Yiannopoulos and all these all of his all of his gay followers will come in with a bunch of pink guns to fight off of, of these demons that will be shooting out of the ground because Hillary yeah. will do the same thing. She'll yeah. melt into like a Terminator robot oh, God. and all these spawned aliens will start shooting out of her. Okay, so are you, so you're ready to fight in his personal army? That's what I've been preparing for this whole time. That's what I've yeah. been trying to tell people about, but yes. Well, okay, so if you want if you want to serve in Donald Trump's personal army, what's like the best advice that you give somebody to like be a good Trump army guy. You got to go on his website and buy a hat, first of all, <laughs> and then you spend all day shit posting on Reddit and Twitter about it. Okay. That's how he knows. He's like Santa. That's fair. Like that's yeah. his list is he's got a big old checklist. And if you've done enough shit posting for the day, you get a check mark. So, okay. So when you buy his hat and put it on, when he pulls out his sword, will, yes. you, will the hat like surround you like a suit of armor or like, is there some mythical thing with that? Yes. The, the, what protects you in that, what will protect you in that instance is, uh, is an aura, is an aura of unstumpability. Oh, God. That's it. what I call it. So yeah. these demons will come at you yeah. and try to stump you. These little Hillary they'll just, they'll demons. They'll just be like, could, uh, could Jesus make a taco so delicious? Yes, they'll try would, to yeah. stump you up there. And then you'll be like, oh, geez. They'll say things like, why do you need a gun? And you'll be like, well, you'll try to explain yourself to them, but your your anti-stumpery field. But the hat just makes it like, and you're like, I know why I need a gun. And you're like, I don't have to explain myself yeah. to you, you bitch. It's called the Second Amendment, and you'll chop at them with a sword. Yeah. Everyone, everyone who carries a hat will also carry a golden sword. That like won't just, be as big and beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. as Trump's. But it's like enough to do some damage. It's enough to to get rid of these demons. But how do you feel about? Um, I mean, like, and this is this is a serious question. Like, just the Trump hats. Like, they're a lot of them being made in like China or Mexico. Well, his hats are made in the U.S. Oh, okay, I have I ordered 
right away. The second that fucking hat, when I was still in that phase of, I support everything that's going on here, but I don't think it's, I don't think this is real life. Like I also, when, when that was at the point when my support of Trump was at a hundred and my support of the irony of supporting Trump was at a hundred. All right. That, that equals a purchase. Yeah. Like in, in our generation and definitely yeah. in the millennial generation, that's how you get people to shell it's out their like money. I support this. Also, this is funny. Also, it's very funny. Yeah, Take yeah. all of the money yeah, that yeah. you need. I bought it right away, man. My order number is probably in the tens of thousands. Yeah. Like in my Facebook, the same is in like the hundreds of thousands. I'm yeah. an early adopter on both Trump and Facebook. Uh, when I got that hat, I was mortified that it would be made in China. Made in America. Wow. Yeah, made in America. So those knockoffs, those knockoffs, which I don't in, I don't think you should buy no matter what the cost. Like the the regular hat, the real yeah. merch deal hat is like 25 bucks or something like that. That's affordable. It's affordable as shit for something that'll yeah. last you the rest of your yeah, life. Especially something that's going to create an aura of stumpability around you. Unstumpability. Yeah, unstumpability. An yeah. aura of unstumpability yeah, yeah. for when the time comes. Yeah. I mean, you'll get a gold sword out of that. That's got to be worth a lot of money. That's it's 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 linked to your soul. Oh, so you can't like sell it? No, you can't sell oh, okay, these things. Oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah. yeah, it's like macho. It's like Randy Savage's macho madness. Yeah, you can't sell that. He can sell you a Slim Jim that but, might induce some yeah. kind of a madness, but he can't sell the macho madness. Okay, yeah, I go. I get what you're talking about. That makes sense. Okay, 